Walk me through. Uh, what, what do you take out of that weekend, Kevin? Uh, <laughs> well, just how special and how elite you know, the being a Hall of Famer really is and how special it was for me to be able to play in the NFL. But the biggest thing that – and I knew it because I wrote my speech, but even now to see my teammates and friends – from all walks of life, show up to rec- you know to be a part of the celebration, to really understand that it's about your teammates and about relationships, and uh, and those are the people that kind of help you grow to be who you become. In the 16 plus years that I've done this, usually a Hall of Famer realizes that it it is don- it's there not just for the jack of the bus, but when you see another Hall of Famer welcoming you, who was that one for you that blew you away from this weekend, uh, Kevin? You know what, Floyd Little was one that. I said, I've met him before, but I saw him in the lobby hotel, and, and we met and we talked, and he's like, you're, you're going to be one of the good ones, and me and one of the good members, the one of the guys that, that as a hall, will represent the Hall of Fame well and stuff like that, and that, that really touched me. It, it was really you know, nice of him to say that, and I just loved him. I mean, no, you know, know of him and never really knew him, but for him to say that to me early in that week, it just meant a lot to me. Um, of course, I've known most of those, those guys that have gone in the recent years and as teammates or, or opponents. But but the one, Floyd Little, was the one of the ones. And Joe Green, you know, I played on Don Shula's staff in the Senior Bowl, and Joe Green was the defensive line coach at the time. So I've known him for quite a few years. Right. And now knowing him as a Hall of Famer is pretty special. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.